Greetings and welcome back, one and all, to Pillars of Eternity and to Kaid Nua and to a dead Meowald. I am remarkably upset that we had to kill Meowald. I was really hoping that we could get through this without having to murder him. Uh, go off, find a fix for our own awakening, come back, share it with Meowald, just have him here as some sort of sagely advice. But no, it appears that Meowald is dead and we severed his bond to this keep perhaps a part of being a watcher is his soul was so strong and so tightly bound to this place through several iterations um of his life i thought the kindest thing that glendur could do is to release him from that cycle that he would never have to go through this again right but before we do anything else look at our health we are practically dead um so first things first, we're going to take our level ups, just in case that increases some sort of skill that, that could be reset when we when we rest. Um, let's see, we've got survival, we've got mechanics that I could upgrade. I wouldn't mind that actually. Yeah, we'll take mechanics up to five. We could even take it up to six. That would be very nice. But that said, I wouldn't mind taking up his stealth by an extra level. Um, no, actually, I'm gonna gonna take Glinter's mechanics up an extra level there, up to all the way up to six. That should be pretty nice. Can disarm difficulty level seven traps, pick difficulty level seven locks, and plus twenty trap accuracy. Okay, we've got a new phrase. Fantastic. So we've got the fox from the farmer did run and leap, which gives us minus ten accurate uh, foe aura, minus ten accuracy against disengaging enemies. Sure ha handed. Ela knocked her arrow with speed, plus twenty percent reload speed, plus twenty percent range attack speed for one eleven point three seconds. That's actually really nice. Rhyme and Frost followed the footfalls of Karth. Drop trap, Rhyme and Frost trap over eleven point three seconds. That's actually quite nice. Allies leave a hazardous trail of frost wherever they move, hobbling and causing freeze damage to enemies. Ooh, that was good. One dozen stood against the power of the saint. Decreases the duration of and defends against frightened and terrified. Lo, their endless host, the harbingers of doom, generates a field of terror, frightening enemies in the area of effect. And frightening, uh, frightened, resolve and dexterity reduced by two, and accuracy is reduced by ten. That's actually quite nice, but I think we're going to be going with this one for the reload help. Yes. And that's it for that level. Well done, Glindur. Okay, next up is Eder. Oh, we have something to say with uh, Kana. Okay. But first, Eder. Right. As our main tank, we could go with survival or athletics. Uh, we're going to go with athletics. Plus 60% maximum fatigue. That's actually really nice. We could also take it an extra level, in fact. Uh, no, I think what we'll do is we'll take up his survival instead. We really need to give more items to to uh, Eater so that he can actually consume them. It's something I really need to work on. I'm always forgetting to do that. Now, as for fighter abilities, okay. Vigorous defense. The fighter becomes fiercely determined to deflect all incoming blows, dramatically de increasing all defense for a short time. One use per encounter is instant, plus 20 to all defense for 15 seconds. Um, we've got... Currently we're using a flail. This would possibly be the better one for that, plus 15% damage. Uh, what else we got? Confident aim, plus 20% of greatest converted hits, plus 20% minimum damage of all things. Disciple, discipline to barrage, plus 10 accuracy for 15 seconds, once per, per encounter. Guardian stance. The fighter devotes all of his or her energy to defending allies. Lowers accuracy, but increases the deflection of nearby allies. That's actually quite nice. Friendly aura, plus 10%, uh, plus 10 deflection, self, minus 10 accuracy, or into the fray. The fighter lunges through the battle, pulling an enemy into immediate melee range. Two per encounter. Foe target, 14 to 21 crush. 
Minus 5 meter push versus reflex, dazed for 5 seconds versus fortitude. Uh, that's quite a nice one, but I think we're going to go with the adventurer to improve our damage with this mace. That seems like an obvious one. There we go. No new talent at this level. There we are. And finally, before we actually rest... Well, actually, let's go ahead and rest now. Uh, no. Wait, 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 wait. Let's talk with Kana first. With all that he knew of himself. Indeed. A cruel fate. Indeed. But he's released now, at least. It may be my fate too. He was weak. I won't end up that way. I don't think knowledge was the problem. He said that if I can find out what caused this, it might help me. Maybe it's better to stay ignorant of some things. Never mind him. Let's go. Hmm. I think I'll just... I think Lindor would be more... Well, he's not really going to bemoan it, but he'll acknowledge the fact that it could be his fate. It may, but Meowald knew his curse for all that he succumbed to it. Uh, for all that, he succumbed to it. Perhaps he gave you what you need to escape his fate. Let's seek out these ruins he mentioned. We may find something of use. Right, well, let's have a quick glance at what we've got here. We've got... Mewald's Grimoire, well, that's obviously going to you. Got some money. We've got Primal Wind, which is Whirling Clouds of Smoke and Air Flash with Occasional Bursts of Energy. Mm, okay, maybe that's like a summon. And Primal Flame. Oh, right, these are things... Oh, they're things for crafting, I imagine. But, first, camp. Poor old Mewald. I do feel sad for him. Truly, I do. Okay, then. Right. Now, anyone else need to talk to me? No. We're good. Right. Time to explore, then. A worn book lies on the table, its pages filled with nonsensical scrolls. The strictly sweet smell of rot rises from the, this half-eaten fruit. I'll handle this. Okay. We'll take that. I'll have this open and no this, time. there we go. Who just got a level up? Aloth was very close to level up. Okay, right. Well, I could increase your law, but I'm not really sure that's necessarily going to help you that much. Instead, I wouldn't mind actually increasing this. So you've got a little bit more defense because everything wants to kill you, Aloth. I don't mean to alarm you, but you seem to be a very popular choice. Okay, level three spells now. Repulsive visage. The caster's face becomes a nightmarish mask of rotting, rotting insect-infested flesh or other images of unspeakable horror, compelling all nearby foes to become terrified and sickened. No. Noxious Burst. Got spews forth a poisonous cloud of foulness that causes corrode damage and leaves victims sickened. Minoa's... Oh, wait, I don't want to take that. Minoa's... Uh, Minoletta's abounding missiles. Summons three missiles that pierce through the target and leap to two additional targets each. Ooh, that would actually probably be quite powerful. Uh, Langrath's displaced image. Because the casters will be visually displaced, increasing their deflection and reflex. Minor Blights creates a ball of energy in the caster's hand that can be thrown at an enemy, causing burn, freeze, corrode or shock damage to anyone caught in the area of effect. Blights are continually replenished until the spell ends. Ooh. Until weapon changed for 78 seconds. That might be a good one. I think we'll be taking that. Expose vulnerabilities. Bears the enemy's combat vulnerabilities for all to see, reducing their damage reduction. Delirious. Uh, delet uh, deleterious alacrity of motion. Alacrity. Wow, those are some awesome words. Cancer draws upon his or her life force to gain an increase in speed and movement while draining his or her own endurance. No, thank you. Conceal Hort's Draining Touch. The caster's hand becomes a toxic parasite, causing corrosive damage to the target, weakening it and leeching a portion of its endurance. But that looks like it needs to be pretty bloody close, so I'm thinking no. Arcane Dampener creates a nullifying field of antagonistic magical energy around the chosen point, suppressing all beneficial effects on enemies in the area of effect. And Arduous Delay of Motion. Alters the perception of time for enemies in the area of effect 
lowering their speed and movement. No, I think we're going to be going with this one. I like that one. Okay. And no new talents. Ah, well. Right, well, at the very least, I can adjust his grimoire. Wrong person. Oh, actually, I do want to adjust Glindur's grimoire. Uh... Hmm. This one, bless was Wengrid, quickest of his tribe. How long? 11 seconds. Well, that's actually one that we're only going to need to, to proc once at the beginning, I would say. And it's only going to be useful if Glindur is actually... Um, can I go to this? There we are. There we go, I see. It's only going to be useful if Glindur is actually fighting with a ranged weapon. Then this one... Takes a long while to chant, though. Linger 3.8 sacks, duration 6 seconds. So that's the linger there. And we probably want to proc it again. I want to try and keep up my draining effect as often as I can. In fact, that should be good enough. In fact, thinking about it, I don't need that one up over here as a result. In fact, let's uh, pull those back a little bit. Have that one there. Then this. Uh, no. I think that would actually be a better system there. It would keep things on the move at the very least. Okay. That'll be his chance to use when he's actually going to be using his gun. Or when someone nearby is using their gun. Alright, not too bad. What else have we got? Fantastic. Not very no, it's not. But still, I appreciate you saying that. Can I wait that older set? What? I don't want to discuss it. Okay. Hmm. Is that what's actually going on with Eloth? I. It's possible. I? How may I help? Can I just chat with you? I'm here. Yes. Hmm. Is there no yes. particular way to talk with Eloth? Can we have a talk, you and I? No. Absolutely not. I take it. No. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. fair enough then. We'll move on. Just find out what there is to find out. Some spiders in there. Uh, you know what? We can probably just kill them all here. Yes, go. Fight! This shouldn't be a difficult fight for us, honestly. There we go. I'll have you over there. We'll be using this chant. Let's get you in there. And you soon after as well. There we go. Please be killing things. Aloth, why don't we get your awesome spells down? I'm not going to use your ability just yet. Also, you should be using your amazing sword. Uh, well, actually, no, you should be using this one. There we go. No, until you actually get engaged, continue fighting. Uh, using your ranged. Might be able to get most of them with this. Nice shot. Fantastic shot, in fact. Okay, another one down. And you can go for this one. So can you. There we go. That spider doesn't know where it's going. Fantastic. I approve. There we are. That was not too difficult. Well done, everyone. Very well done. Okay. Well, we've got some things down here. Let's uh, make sure we're stealth, though, because there could still easily be more things for us to kill. Yes. Zurips. What do you get? What's that? Okay. Well, this should not be a difficult fight for us. At all. Let's get that off and follow it up immediately with another one. You pretty much doomed there. 
Sorry, little syrup. What else have we got? Uh, a lot of things that we don't... Ooh. That we kind of do want. This heavy iron key has an Adirian stamp upon its handle. The handle is coated with rough la uh, layer of dust. Alright, well, let's find out what's in here. We'll take those. Indeed. Go back to stealth mode. Ooh. Fantastic. Our priest has got a level up. Okay, as for you, you're not getting attacked too much, so I wouldn't actually mind you getting your lore up for now. And we may as well get athletics up a little bit as well, just to give you some extra fatigue defense. And class unlocks. Oh, wow. All of these just unlocked. Circle of protection, combat only, creates a large zone of divine shelter, granting allies a bonus to all defenses. Despondent blows, nagging doubt in the face of unbreakable faith, consumes enemies in the air of effect, lowering their melee accuracy and critical hit range. Dire blessing, strengthens allies' resolve in battle, increasing their probability they will land a critical hit. Pillars of faith, calls down a pillar of divine judgment, inflicting crush damage and knock down on enemies in the air of effect. Prayer against restraint, frees allies in the air of effect from perceived constraints, granting a bonus against attack with hobbled or stuck afflictions and reducing the duration of any such afflictions currently on the target. Restore moderate endurance, shares a portion of the caster's divine strength, restoring a moderate amount of endurance to all allies in the area of effect. Ward in seal, generates a magical seal that explodes in a burst of electrical energy when an enemy comes into contact with it, inflicting shock damage and watchful presence. Blesses allies with the aid of a sympathetic soul, releasing a healing effect when their endurance is low. Oh, fantastic. I like these abilities. Yes. Everyone is leveling up. Good times. Ooh. Let's pop that on someone. And that can go. Alright, let's uh, find out what that ring was. Who got the ring? Damn it. I gave someone a ring. Where be the ring? There we are. Right. Ring of overseeing. Plus 10% ability, area of effect. You know what? Um, yes. Let's get your area of effect up a little bit. Hmm? Cobblestones and bricks are bound to the rusted old cart by thick spiderwebs. Indeed. Right, what's this about then? Some sort of portal preventing me from going further. A shimmering wall of energy extends across the doorway like a curtain. It repels forward mo uh, momentum. Hmm. Have a look. It repels forward movement with unnatural force. Interesting. Perhaps the voice in that throne upstairs who knows more. Good call. Very good call. What are we going to have over here? Ooh, lots of dead people. I see dead people. And the things that killed them as well. Which is a little bit unsettling. On your word. Let's get your gun going. Hey. Peter, Leave it to I me. want you to get in there and start fighting. Huh? Right, guys. Now that Glinda is going to be chanting, I want you to engage. I want you down here. There we go. I want you engaging. I want you to drop a big old spell there. Either I wouldn't mind it if you took one of these spiders down. There we go. Well done. Keep focused on that one. Let's get you with some more damage. Not bad. Right, killed one spider, it looks like. Well done, either. You guys go for this one next. There we go. Right, you two can go for these ones. Either, just knock this one over, please. There we go. Fantastic work. Everyone is doing very, very well. Either actually hasn't taken much of any damage yet. Which is, oh, there, there we go. I spoke far, far too soon. But as soon as these weapons go off, this thing dies, pretty much. Oh, no, never mind. Adolf killed it. How do I want it done? Mm -hmm. I fancy that uh, upgrades to our uh, reload speed is really I'm helping. Here. Nice and quiet. Oh, skeleton. With a sword. That goes straight into the loot chest. From whence it will be sold. Right, what's down here? Got some sort of cavern back here, have we? 
Oh, okay, it just goes round in a circle. Never mind. Ivory spinner, some other things. Uh, again, we don't really need it. Well, actually, you might want that. Let's have a quick look at you. Let's have a gander. What kind of thing have you got? You've got fine mail armor. Actually, I fancy... You know what I fancy? I think maybe getting rid of that recovery speed penalty would be a very wise thing for our guys, since they're largely using range damage right now. 30% might be good. If we had something that had less than 30, but not such an enormous drop in... Uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, such an enormous drop in damage reduction, I'd probably go for it. But it's uh, so nasty. I like these guys being able to take a, a blow or two. That said, I'm really trying to avoid Glindur taking damage. So, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll go with this. Aloth the Leather Armor. It's got the overseeing ability. Not really what we need right now. 35. Medium leather armor, 30. What is this? 9 and 45. Mm, pierce proofed second chance. Maybe. Maybe that wouldn't be a bad one to give you. There we go. Perhaps we can upgrade them as well later on. Okay. Glindur is going to be using his uh, pistol a little bit yes. more often now that I've equipped him specifically for that role. There we go. Oh, you got! You got! Thank goodness we're not actually engaging them there. Seriously, my lord. That is a wretched thing to see suddenly. Let's all get over here, shall we? Ye. I shall be quiet as a calm sea. Which is uh, let's have a quick look at what's in there. Uh, yes, we like those. Weathered and covered with a dull patina, uh, this elaborately carved pillar appears far older than the surrounding structure. Oh, okay. All right, well, we're going to be going up against a really big boss. I'm more than a little afraid, if I'm honest. Because that looks like death awaiting us. 31 to 37, 39, 20. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, we're gonna need to engage hey. this in a good way. I need to know what's up there. There's another one as well. All right, she's coming over here. That's fine. Let her come. Warrior. All right, you need to be up there right now. Oh no, drat. Okay, go for her. Go for her as well. I would like you to try and slow her down. We've got halt. Commands a single enemy to halt, causing them to temporarily cease all movement. Go for her. I'd like you. Fireball. Summons a flaming ball of molten earth that explodes at a targeted location, causing burn damage to all in the area of effect. Go there. There we go. That's what we want to see. And we've dealt a bit of damage to her so far. I would not mind. Circle of protection creates a large zone divine shelter, granting allies a bonus to all defenses. Yes. Get that going. There we are. Now I would like you to pull off this one on Eater specifically. Eater, knock her down, please. How are you guys going? Um, we've also got Speaker to the Restless. Attacks will to per rest. The Watcher speaks directly to the souls of his enemies, filling them with dread of what awaits them in the wheel. Yes. Do it. Um, okay, you guys just keep your own thing going. Aloth, just drop that on the Spider Queen. There we are. And again, please. Oh, you get 29 PS damage. Wow. Okay, I need your ability right there. Kana. I would very, very, very much like you to equip your weapon and just go hand to hand there. Ye gad, that's not good. Alright, Glindur, we need you to actually deal with this as fast as you can as well. Okay, let's just try and get this going. 
Yes, yes, I, I know. I know it's bad times. Bad times for everyone. Can you knock this down? And Aloth, you're in a pretty rough position, I know, but let's try and just get the Spider Queen with another fireball, please. There we are. Now, how about this? Okay, killed Spear Spider. Well done, Durance. Very well done. Right, all focus on her, please. You go back to using your gun. There we are. Glindur, back to using yours. There we go. Okay, not too bad. Durance, I wouldn't... Well, they'll probably recover their endurance in a moment. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We don't need to pull off any funky abilities just yet. Uh, though Eder has lost his protection, however... We're going to drop some skeletons on the Spider Queen. Go forth, my skeletal minions! Oh, that's so amazing, being able to summon six warriors. The flanking damage will be real. Fantastic. That was genuinely well played. Very well done, everyone there. Very well done. Okay, spider's leg, what are we going to get here? Ooh. We've also got that. We'll take you. Glindur will take that and we'll have a look at it. Now, what do we just pick up? Eudracht. A stiletto. One-handed. Speed fast. Interrupt 0 0.35 seconds. Weak. 11 to 16 peers. Damage reduction. 3 damage bypass. Draining. 20% of damage restored as endurance. Damaging. 1. Plus 15% damaged. Eudracht once belonged to a prominent military instructor in the capital city of Eder. The instructor was a cipher whose gifts were seldom used by his empire, and he grew frustrated at his superior's inability to see the potential of ciphers to perform key missions that no other force would be capable of. He began making his opinion known, and over time the opinion became more subversive and radical, until at last his unsanctioned activities got him charged with treason. The officer and crew that came to detain him, however, underestimated him as much as the Empire had, and with only this blade and the talents of his mind, he slew his would-be captors. He fled the city and embarked on a life as a duelist, obsessed with proving his potential to any who would question it. In the end, his life ended in a manner that the lives of duelists typically do, and the potential he often spoke of would remain just that. The knife still bears his psychic imprint, and the wielder will often get flashes of the maneuvers the original owner performed in order to deliver the killing blow to his opponent. Some regard this as a curse, but many find value in it, and use such experiences to better realise the knife's potential. Were it not for the evidence of heavy use about the handle and pommel, Eudracht would seem new, its cutting edge perfectly bevelled and honed without a single nick along its length. I think so, yes! Goodbye, fine stiletto. Hello, Eudracht. We're going to swap those around. Oh, that's glorious. So we've now got one that uh, is pretty nice, fine accuracy, does jolting touch. And this one will drain. Oh, good times. Can we uh, enchant this one? Slaying. We could have some slaying on it. Shocking lash, burning lash. We could make it fine. That would be quite nice. 600 plus 4 accuracy plus an extra 15% damage. Yes, enchant that, I think. Uh, oh, did we just lose something? Uh, let me just double check. Fine. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Draining. Uh, everything is as it was before, I believe. Oh, we had damage one. So fine has overwritten damage, it looks. Okay. Uh, it kind of makes sense. Uh, secondary damage. Is draining considered secondary damage? It might be. Um, I wouldn't mind going for burning because we've already got shocking lash. Let's see. There we go. Ah, I like it. Fantastic. We even have enough to do that. We even have enough to, to get another one, I think. We could add slaying as well. Spirit Kith, plus 5 accuracy against human, 25 damage against human. Blah, 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 blah. Hmm, maybe Vessel. Wilder, 
Beast, Primordial. I wouldn't mind giving this a little bit more power against Kith, actually. Yes. Okay, now we've got a pretty potent weapon. Look at all of the things it can do. It's only got room for two more enchantments. I doubt we're ever going to get that. But uh, that is actually pretty awesome. Let's now have a look at this. I could add Burning Lash onto this. Because we've already got Shocking Jolt. Plus 25% shock damage. Um, yeah, let's, let's build on what it's already got. There we are. Glyndur now has actually quite, quite potent close combat weapons. So I may may switch out and, and use them in close quarters a little bit more often mm -hmm. than I was expecting to. But uh, that's all pretty awesome, I think. Let's see, we've got more to explore back here as well. Where does this lead us? Anywhere? Uh, it's still leading us somewhere. Ooh, you get it. Is this the face that we were looking at before? It, oh no, it looks like a hand. Some sort of grasping hand reaching out. But, looking at the time, I think it may actually be time for us to wrap this episode up as much as I am ready to continue, and in fact I will, I shall be recording the next momentarily, but for you, it'll be about a day. So I do hope you've enjoyed this episode and will be joining me for the next, but until then, and as always, do take care.